Okay, today I'm gonna to show you how to update the AV30. So some of the things you're gonna need is an AV30. You're gonna need the 15 pin D sub connector and then also a nine pin D sub connector. And I'll show you what wires you're gonna be hooking up there. You're gonna want the Sabarant cable and a Windows laptop. So to start off with, the 15 pin connector, you're going to want to pin pin one with power, pin nine with ground, eight and 15. You're gonna be plugging in the 15 pin. So pin eight is going to go to pin three, pin 15, is gonna to go to pin two. And then on my ground wire, I paralleled that. And one wire is gonna to go to my power supply over here. So we're gonna connect that up. Connect power there. Of course, make sure that they're not gonna to touch each other because that could cause some problems. So we have the ground going to both. So like I said, one's going to the power supply, the other one is going to the nine pin. So we're gonna take this out of the case. Notice one side is a male nine pin. We're gonna take this one, plug it straight in, and then we don't need all of this, but we're going to plug it in into the USB here. Now we're gonna power on the AV30. So I'm gonna turn that around so you can see what happens when it gets updated. Okay, so we're gonna turn on the power supply. I have it set to 12 volts. We'll go ahead and turn on the AV30. And the AV30 is going to come up and you're going to see the software version that you have running on your unit. This right now is 2.3.9. The unit's gonna come up. And now that we have everything connected, we're gonna go over to the Windows laptop and turn that on. We're gonna go to, we're just gonna go from the start. So what you're gonna wanna do is go to uavionics.com and we're going to go to support AV30C and we have the service bulletin. We'll click on that and we'll come down here and you're going to want to download the AV update tool and the firmware. So we'll go ahead and click on the firmware as you can see. It just downloaded here. I don't want to open it though. We can't open it. We're going to get off of that. And then the update tool, we'll click on that. I'll show you what happens with when you open that. More information and we're going to run it anyway. Select COM port 8 because that's what it's selected. We're going to connect. I want you to watch right here. The AV30 just went black. We're going to open file. It's gonna bring up our downloads file and we're going to grab this uh, file that we just downloaded from right firmware. So as you can see, it's gonna start programming and, and running it up. As you can see, the AV30 remains black and it will stay there until the update has been completed. Okay, as you can see, it's being updated. You look here and the unit comes back on. It says 2.3.9 and we have been successful in updating.